So today, inshallah, we are going to take a look uh, at the future provider that it is one of many providers that we have with Riverpod. And it is used, obviously, as the name suggests, to, to call futures and to get data from futures. So to use it, we are going to use other libraries packages, for example, the HTTP, since we are going to make an HTTP call to this API and the Dart convert to convert our JSON. So in order to define a future provider, it is just like other providers. Uh, you have to uh, use the future provider keyword and inside you call always the wrap. But in this case, you use the async and await keyword because the HTTP uh, get method returns um, a future and this future should be uh, uh, resolved obviously after uh, we get our values we return them this is how are we uh, how we define our provider so before i go into the other part let's take a look at this this api when we call it which data we should get so this is the data that we are going to get and uh, I did this by calling it on the browser since it is uh, uh, it, it uses the get verb. So this is why uh, we see it like this. And I see it formatted in this way because I'm using uh, an extension of Chrome that I don't remember, but if you want, I can tell you which one it is, inshallah. Here we have many uh, other informations other than the one that we need because we want only the fact of the cat and not the other data, even the length, uh, we don't need that. So here we have current page and other information, last page uh, links. And here it says, for example, that we have the, the current page is the one and there are other pages. As with other uh, providers, we use ref.watch uh, inside a consumer widget uh, and we call the provider of future facts that it is this one here. By doing like this, we get um, our uh, future provider that we can consume by calling some predefined methods. So here I define the material app, scaffold, safe area, center, uh, default ones that I always define. And here, uh, after the center in the side, I have uh, basically called the future cat facts and I have used the one method. So when uh, requires three named parameters that are data loading and error. So inside the loading, obviously, uh, you use the any indicator that can show that you are fetching the, dat the data. Since it is a future, you don't know when uh, when the API would respond. So in the meanwhile, you can show any progress that shows that you are making some sort of call. And here you show the error if you have any error. When the future completes uh, with your data, it will call the data with your informations, or when it it uh, completes with error, it will call this part here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this part here. We get our data, and in south inside our data, we access the body, and it is the part in which we have our our JSON, uh, the content of our JSON, but we need to transform it since it is like if we have uh, some text and we can do anything if we have only the text, we need to tell to the application how to treat that data. So this is why we use the json.decode that it is present inside the Dart convert uh, library, I don't know if it is called library or package, that you, you obviously you find it inside uh, Dart so you don't have to install anything. And then here uh, we decode the data um, as JSON and then we can access it like this. If you want to access it uh, by using the dot notation, I mean like this, 
you should create some methods you can use some helper functions like the freeze package uh, and this is another topic but basically here then when we are calling uh, data right here we are basically getting the informations that are inside here so we basically are getting our list with the facts and now the only thing that we need to do is to access our fact to do so uh, i have defined a list view with some children's and i have um, i went into the cat fact details that it is this list here i have used maps to go through each item and i've created a container with the text that contains the the, the single fact that it is this one here so this is simply basically how we can use uh, our our future provider to make an HTTP call and get our informations.